you going into the game on Monday night, by the time Monday comes, you'll know exactly the other three teams are in it. Do you think that that helps at all in your, your determination to come over Celtic on Monday night, that you'll know exactly who's there? Yes, it's, well, we'll probably get to two of those games over the weekend because we, we face some of those opponents in the coming weeks in the, in the league, so it'll be a good opportunity, considering it's not ideal to play on the Monday night. The good thing from our perspective is it gives us an opportunity to look at our future opponents in the league. Um, and I suppose what it will do is it will just whet the appetite because you'll see all these other occasions unfolding and both teams, Celtic and ourselves, will be eager and highly motivated come Monday night. Looking at the teams that are left in it, they are, even at this stage, obviously the best teams that are available. They're all Premiership teams that are in there. And, you know, it's, it's one of these ones where if you want to win this cup, you've got to be the best. So why not just start now? Yeah, definitely, and I, I think at the end of the day, we we want to have a cup mentality, we want to have a knockout mentality. I, I think we actually showed that in uh, the Premier Sports Cup again, where we progressed through the group stages, we got to the quarterfinals, and then come the Scottish Cup, we've actually had to find solutions in the previous rounds against you know Kilmarnock and Partick that were, were, were quite tricky games. So I think we've built up a, a reasonable amount of momentum in this cup competition so far. The, the target for us was a, was a home tie, we got that, we've been given tough opposition, but like I said, it's a 50-50 it's a shootout and it's one that we've got to be optimistic about progressing, albeit very respectful of Celtic and their qualities. It's 90 minutes of football, it can't be separated the next 30 minutes and then penalties, mm -hmm. so one way or another Monday is going to be a really exciting day. It is, it is, and, and like I touched on before, it's a, it's a nice distraction from the league where I think the boys have given absolutely everything recently to to, to claim some points, to keep us in the hunt for top six. Yes, there's some imperfections in our game just now that we would like to, to remedy and improve upon, but there's, there's still you know more than enough games and, and more than enough time for us to, to hit another level of form. But like you said, huge um, motivation to, to be involved on Monday night. Um, the, the carrot of getting to the semi-final and going to Hamden with our fans behind us is, is, is a really big incentive. Talking of fans, three sides of Dundee United's ground on Monday will be full of United fans. Yes, it's really tremendous to know that we're going to get that level of backing. I'm, I'm well aware of the, the pricing of the tickets. I know that it's a, it's a huge investment that the Dundee United fans are making again at this stage of the season because we've been back superbly, home, away, cup competitions, and, and we really value that. And I know that we as a football club are not entirely in control of you know, the entirety of the ticket pricing. So if the fans are coming out in their numbers, which they appear to be giving us that backing, then we've got to put a performance on for them for sure. We've got the cup coming up on Monday against Celtic. What is it about Scottish Cup that makes it so special for fans? I think any cup football is, is, is special, you know, and um, you know, the Scottish Cup is just the same, you know, the, the, the guy, you know, potential to get to, to Hamden and, and, and lift the trophy at the end of it is, is what everyone wants. You know, we haven't we haven't won, you know, other than the championship or something like that for a while and every club dreams of doing that. As as players that's the sort of days and games you want to play in. Um like I said last year we got to the the uh semi finals and we had no fans. So it was it was a difficult day. Nick didn't get the result we wanted, so hopefully we can go and, and get a result on Monday which takes us through to Hamden again. With this, the the cup it's ninety minutes of football. It really is what you do on the day. It's, it's one of these ones where it's, it really is the Manchester Cup, isn't it? No, definitely. You know, like I said, it's it's, it's a one-off game. It's, it's a totally different um, atmosphere and you know, and pressure from from the league. You know that it's just a one-off game and, and you know what it means. Um, so, you know, it's a quarter-final. It's it's a big game and, and and it's one that we're looking forward to. Um, like I said, it's it's all about who turns up on the day, really. Um, you know, we we're more than capable of getting a result against anyone. I think we've shown that all season against the top teams. Talking of the top teams, if you want to win the cup, you have to beat the top teams. So, yeah, of course. Like yeah, yeah, it's like I said. You know, you need to beat the top teams. You need to, if you want to win something, you need to go all the way. Look at St Johnson last year; they had a great run and, and they beat the Rangers to get to the final, and you know all that sort of stuff. You know, you have to you have to beat the top teams to, to win something, especially in Scotland. So, um, no, like I said, you know, we, we've we've had um, big games this year, and, and everyone stood up to that. So. I don't think that will change on Monday night. Um, everyone's really focused on the game and, and really looking forward to it. Do you think the fact that it's Monday night, it's under floodlights, three stands of United supporters, do you think that's all going to add to the occasion? 
Definitely, you know, it's, um, it's a bit strange to play on a Monday night, you know, sort of go through the weekend uh, looking forward to the game on the Saturday, but you play on Monday night, so, no, it's like I said, we're really looking forward to it. Hopefully there's a really good turnout and a really good support for us because that's massive, especially in the cup games. Um, but no, like, like I said, really looking forward to the game and, and um, hopefully, hopefully we turn up and get the result that we want.